Hello. It's raining. Got ready, just out of the shower. Gonna go down the woods. Gotta to go to the post office, sold a couple more of my books and um, was gonna to go to the post office and uh, go to the woods on the way back and just spend an hour there, just chill out. And uh, I could, well, like, before I got in the shower, it was just pit of power and just gently. And um, I was in the shower, what, 25 minutes, half an hour. I, yeah, I do take my time. Um, and we've got proper rain, real rain now, so it's a bit of a shame, but whatever. So we're here. So I'm still making a video anyway. Um, and this video is in my mind because of a conversation I had last night, but also several other conversations around the same sort of thing. Um, if you don't want me talking about mental health issues and what have you, switch off now and come back another day. But this is, um, I want to talk about anxiety and worry and panic attacks and depression, um, mild depression, and things connected with this pandemic of sorts. And give you a few little tips, I suppose, really, um, of how to just flip your brain, and a lot of it is, being mindful is a wonderful thing, but to flip the brain, take that thought away, replace it with something else, and it works. So I'll give you a few little easy tips. It sounds silly and simple and what have you, but that's what we need. We don't need to overcomplicate things at all. So I'm gonna have a Slurpee and a fag while we chat, if you don't mind. If you do, I'm still gonna have a Slurpee and a fag. So, pandemic, now we're all guilty of doing this. A lot of people, I don't, a lot of people in the morning, they wake up and they reach for their phone and they start looking at nonsense and it's all doom and gloom, all the news or so-called news. That sets you up to have a bad day, surely, doesn't it? I don't do that at all. Um, but a few little tips and what have you, just have a nice day and if the anxiety, if the panic starts to come in and all the rest of it, I'll give you a few little tips and just see how you get on with them. So every single day, when I wake up, every single day, I do the rule of three, not the rule of six that the government wants us to do, do the rule of three. So when you wake up, obviously you know that you're awake, just close your eyes again and notice three sounds. Doesn't matter how long it takes, close your eyes could be a distant car, a dog barking somewhere, could be your central heating, your fridge, a house creaking in some way, can you hear a tree in the garden making a noise, are there raindrops on the windowsill, what three noises are around your environment. If you can only get one or two that's absolutely fine but try and listen for three and just take a while doing that, then open up your eyes and see three things in your bedroom, but really see them. So you might see the curtains, look at the folds in the curtains, see the different shades of the same material, how light one side is, how dark the other side is, see the patterns, see the way they're drawn, is there any cracks? Can you see outside? Really take your time. Look at that one thing there. And choose three things. It could be anything. Look at the light bulb. Look at the wallpaper. Look at your hand. It could be anything in your bedroom. Just take your time and just notice three things. So you've heard three things, hopefully. You've noticed three things, hopefully. Now it's time, because we're all of three, we're going to stick with three all the way through this. So take three deep breaths in, nice and slowly, and count three as you breathe in. One, two, three. Then hold it nice and slowly for three. One, two, three. Then release for three, nice and slowly, nice and calm, nice and gentle. And do that three times. That breath, that 
three breaths you can do throughout the day. If you need to do it once or twice during the day or a hundred times, then do it because it calms, it centers you, it levels you, it calms you, it brings you back into yourself because anxiety, fear, worry, whatever, is all about stuff. It's not about us. It's about stuff. It's about the outside influences that may or may not come our way. So the rule of three, when you get up, think of three things that you'd like to do today that are nice, three nice things, and it could be anything that you like. Would you like to listen to a CD or read a paragraph of your book or go for a bimble? Would you like to prepare your evening meal? Would you like to meditate? Would you like to text somebody or phone somebody? Would you like to walk your dog? Would you like to go out and take a few photographs? Would you like to play your guitar? Whatever it is, three things, three nice, calm, peaceful things that you can inject into your day, three nice things. And then build your day around that. Have those three nice things. And if you're gonna go out on a bimble, again, first thing in the morning we listened and we saw do the same again just stop for a minute just close your eyes just listen listen to three things before you move on just take your time and listen to three separate things and then as you heard them you gently move on look at three different things could be a cloud or a tree or a leaf. Could be your dog. Could be your foot. Could be a stone or a rock. Could be a nice little bush. Could be a fleck of light hitting a, a leaf or a tree or the path in front of you. Could be anything. Just notice those three things. And if on your bimble, if you are out and about and you start to get a little bit jittery, the anxiety starts to come in, close yourself down and have those three breaths. Close your eyes and again, breathe in for three, hold for three, out for three. And do that throughout your day, three times, three breaths. Do it again and again and again if you need to do that. And you'll find that your whole system calms down over a number of days, it just calms down, and that will live with you now forever. Once you've got that down, that will live. In a minute, mate, it's raining, raining boat at the moment. Um, so that will live with you forever more. Now, you can flip your brain, and you can move your brain on to thinking about something either ridiculous or just different. When you start to feel quite anxious, you st that started a while ago and you've only just realized now and you start perhaps you're breathing from high up in your chest you can feel your heart beating you start to panic a bit your eyes are a bit wide and maybe you've got the sweats are coming on oh god i can't cope with this i want to run away i want to hide all the rest of it you know um so all that that is happening it slowly 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 come on to you we amplify that inside because we think oh my god I'm, I'm, I'm having a heart attack or oh, oh the pain in my chest or oh my god I hope nobody sees me or oh, I'm feeling like this I'm feeling and you tell yourself I am feeling like this so you feel more like this and then you say I'm oh, now I'm feeling even worse and even worse comes to you that's what happens so you can flip your brain if that happens the rule of three so play a little game with the alphabet and if you start to feel it just a little bit jittery, it's too late when you get to that stage I've just said, but when you start to feel a little bit jittery, flip your brain and with the alphabet think of three things, three boys names, male names beginning with A. So Adam, Albert, Arthur and then B, Bri obviously, Barry, Bill, C, Christopher, whatever. Um, or think of three female names or um, three food items, avocado, apple, um, artichoke, banana, bread, things like that. 
just slow yourself down just do three they're all a three so three a's three b's three c's you can do it as you're walking you can do it as you sat there if you start to feel awkward in your college or whatever you can open up a book, book <laughs> open up a book and pretend to be reading as you're doing this alphabet thing just flip your brain flip your brain flip your brain and you'll notice that your brain starts to concentrate on what you're now currently doing um, and some of it you get quite difficult I and mean, with three foods beginning with e um, off the top of my head straight away eggs see what I mean I'm now really thinking it through you've probably got all three of them but I'm now thinking it through eggs Easter eggs <laughs> that's a bit of a cheat um, and eggs made of chocolate I can't think of another when I turn this camera off I get 5,000 E's um, but that's what happens is the brain flips and then you get stuck somewhere and you have to start thinking about that therefore you're not thinking about the the breathing up in here and the, the chest going and the worry and the panic and the sweats and the shivers and you're not thinking about any of that you're playing a little game with yourself like that and if that's not your thing maybe do numbers or, or whatever you know invent a little game yourself that you can play nobody knows you're playing it as you bimble along or you pretend to read a book or you're doing whatever you're doing or you're sitting still quietly you can play a little game in your mind no problem doing that so that's really that's my rule of three and I think you'll have a nice day if you start the day like that because the worst thing to do is to start the day and reach for your phone and start reading the demon gloom it's not news it's stories um, we're all guilty of that I just um, read a story right now I read a story and it's just a made up story but it's on the news um, and it says in the UK the elderly and those of poor health may be asked to to be shielded um, for several months well that's a big title isn't it a big banging thing in your head you think Christ almighty how would anybody cope with that these poor people they've already been shielded for three or four months and now they've come out of shielding and they've got to go back in um, so you read it we shouldn't do you should just read the title and think ah oh, bollocks um, but anyway so you read it and it says um, a source well, that means nobody so nobody told us that the government are possibly thinking about possibly thinking about so this story is on a thought it's about a thought even if the government are thinking why would you report what they're thinking their thought patterns why would you be reporting that it's not news it's just fear just propaganda it's just bullshit it's just to keep this coronavirus going and going and going and going you know we're in the dying days of it really if we're honest um, cases do not uh, account for deaths right so to lock down an area because it's got you know a thousand cases or 20,000 cases it doesn't mean anything there was um, I don't know where it was a university maybe Leicester or, or Loughborough or where, where perhaps beginning with L I don't know um, and they said there's 700 and something um, students all with um, a positive test and it turns out only 30 of them had a very very mild cold for 24 to 48 hours that was it but nobody wants to know that the story is they tested 700 and 700 of them have all got this bloody coronavirus whoa god panic worry worry and it's just a story it's just that's how they sell their newspapers isn't it really but you know that is the problem you wake up you grab your phone or you turn the internet on or you if you go to the newspaper shop or whatever and buy a rag and start reading that and you get involved in this doom and gloom as I call it set yourself up to have a nice day wake up listen for those three sounds look at those three things think of three th nice things um, that you'd like to happen in your day think of three nice things that happened yesterday think of three lovely people in your life can you choose three people can you have you got three happy memories throughout your life have the rule of three.
You can do whatever you do, can't you? But the rule of three, and just keep bumbling away with that three, 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 all day long, and you'll find that you do have a calm, peaceful day. Because you started the day calm. And then to end the day, you're laid in bed. And I do this regular. I lay in bed and I think, what was the best thing about today? Can I choose one thing? And I end up, I've got two or three or four, ten things sometimes. I think, okay, so I've got these four things. But which was the best? which was the best and I think about it and I whittle them down to three or two and then one I think why was that the best what how did that make me feel it's a beautiful image could be anything anything at all you know um, a couple of nights ago we were or in the day we were in the woods and um, Bodhi was just going along in front of me like he does and he stopped, lifted his paw, as he normally does, and turned around and was just looking at me. Just looking at me. And I, I just stopped for a minute and looked at him and he was just looking. There was only me and him on this planet. There was no woods, no trees, no noises, no nothing. Just me and him. And for some reason, he just wanted to stop and take in the image of me. And that was my happiest thing, the best thing. It doesn't have to be the happiest, really. The best thing of the day. And that might sound silly. It might sound whatever. I couldn't give a monkey's. But I go to sleep with that image in my mind. I go to sleep thinking of the best of my day. Not the worst. Not the story of this so-called shielding, if and when it happens. But I go to bed thinking about the best thing that happens. And it's nice. And I'll wake up and I think, right, what's going to be good about today? What three things would I like to do? Three little things I'd like to achieve, maybe? The rule of three. Give that a go. See how you get on. The easiest thing to say to anybody is, oh, don't worry about things, you know. This too shall pass is a wonderful saying. I say that to myself in my head. If I start to get a bit jittery for some reason, I think this too shall pass. But by saying not worry, it's a really pointless, pointless thing to say to anybody. Because you cannot help but worry sometimes. When you get into that panicky anxiety feeling you can't say oh well I won't worry then because you are worried you don't know what you're worried about maybe and your body's worried your mind is worried your whole core of your being is worried so you can't not worry but what you can is flip your brain have a little go have a little play with that alphabet thing I um, sometimes when I've had interviews and what have you I've done a couple of different things and I've played that that sort of game very simply in my mind it just takes me it just takes me away from what is going to be in a few minutes which is quite a difficult interview and I don't want to sit there worrying for 20 minutes or whatever in, in the receptionist's office so I go you know three boys names beginning with A and then B and then C and before, before I get to D or E or F, you know, I've, I've kind of lost any worry or fear of what might be, and I'm very calm, and you know, and it doesn't take a lot of effort to do something like that. And if you've got ten minutes and you sat there ten minutes, you might get all the way through to Z. You might do, and um, if you can't get H, you, you you say Harry, but then you can't think of two more boys' names. Don't worry yourself, try and think it through, H, you know, and there's loads really, isn't there, Henry and all the rest of it, but um, if you can't get it after a minute or two, say, okay, not to worry, move on, I, and then you start again, so Ian, blah, 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 um, but not to worry, I mean, you don't want to cause yourself more anxiety and more problems and more bloody worry. <laughs> but I, I've done that, and I've also done, and I've said this 
maybe several times in videos, but I might as well say it one more time. Um, I imagine that I've got holes in the bottom of my feet, and through those holes, I imagine this cool, cool air, very nearly icy cold air, coming up through my feet, and I imagine it, and my feet are cold, and this air is just rushing up through my legs now, coming up my calves, into my knees, and this cold air touching my thighs, moving into my stomach, and moving through my chest, I can breathe cool, fresh air. Um, in fact, I use that a lot. I'm now cold, not cold, cold. I'm now very cool, very, very cool. I use it, if it's piping hot, middle of August on a piping hot day, you can sit still and use that and you actually feel quite cool, I do anyway, because I've been doing it for so long. And you can use that, you go into your face, your nose, down into your fingertips, whatever, and just, it's another way of just not being where you are, you know, and where you are at an interview, you are quite hyper, quite worried, quite nervous, quite concerned. And you do that, and you, you can go into the interview feeling quite calm, I think, really. I do anyway. It's worth a go. Anything's worth a go, isn't it, really? Rather, other than panic and, and fear and worry and all the rest of it. So try the rule of three. See how you get on with that. Okay. I'll be back another day. Take care of yourselves and each other and try and be well. Until I, cheers.